Hello and good afternoon. We are coming live from Doctors Plaza building. That's where we are coming live from today. And today on Talk to a Doctor show, I'm your host. And today we'll be talking about a very interesting topic. Yes, gastro. Hey, this one is a hard one, but I'll try to actually mention it. It's gastroesophageal uh, reflux disease or JAD in children. Today we have our RCO pediatric William who will be talking to us about this disease that affects children and most of the children here and uh, according to the patient he always sees. Welcome Dr. Terry to the show. Uh, you will introduce yourself to the viewers. I know they are watching in big numbers so that uh, you tell them your names and what you do and then we continue with the show. Thank you. Welcome. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is William, as you all know. Mm -hmm. I'm stationed here mm -hmm. in Doctors Plaza yes. as a pediatrician. Okay. Basically, my work involves from age of zero mm -hmm. up to 12 years children. Mm -hmm. We screen all conditions mm -hmm. and treat. Mm -hmm. And in case of referral and admission, we also do that. Okay. Yeah. So today we talk about JAD. Uh, <coughs> so why would you choose to discuss a topic that is, I thought it's for grown-ups. Mm -hmm. I never thought that uh, JAD affects children. Thank you for that question. Yeah. JAD or gastro esophageal <laughs> reflux disease eh, uh -huh. is a common condition that affects as young as, mm -hmm. as new, even neonates, mm -hmm. neonates up to adults. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, commonly mistaken that it, it affects adults mm -hmm. because they think it's uh, what we call peptic ulcer disease or those things. Mm -hmm. But JAD itself, mm -hmm. maybe let me start from the anatomy, mm -hmm. then we can discuss details yeah. about how we get to JAD. Yeah. Or the digestive system of a human being begins yeah. from the mouth mm. up to the stomach and until you release mm. the contents. Yeah. Now, from the throat up to the upper stomach, yeah. there's a tube that takes food to the stomach called the esoph esophagus. Yeah. Now, just when the esophagus branches to, food, to the stomach, mm -hmm. there is a, a very important part there mm -hmm. called a sphincter. This sphincter's work is to control mm -hmm. the contents in the stomach from coming back upwards. But in neonates or children, eh, mm -hmm. that sphincter is immature. That's where you find uh, even babies as old as two days, even day one on feeding, mm -hmm. they regurgitate the foods. Yeah. That's because that sphincter mm -hmm. is immature and cannot hold eh, the stomach contents back. So in short, eh, mm -hmm. the, the topic of today is uh, equally of passionate to me yeah. because of what we normally patients ask us yeah. about why mtoto anatoa maziwa, mbona mm -hmm. mtoto wangu anatapika, mbona mm -hmm. inatoka na mapua. Mm -hmm. So basically the major issue is that sphincter yeah. that's not fully mm -hmm. matured. Mature. Yeah. Uh, so I see in mothers with young babies after breastfeeding, when I saw katoto ivi, ndio kasito ya maziwa. Yes. So that's the reason. That's uh, okay. Basically, that's the reason, mm -hmm. and that's how it should be. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice one. Uh, so we go to Jad. Yeah. So what is Jad? Okay. Jad, as I said earlier, mm -hmm. gastroesophageal reflux disease. Yeah. Uh, basically, in children, it's mm -hmm. immaturity of mm -hmm. the lower esophageal sphincter yeah. that causes mm -hmm. frequent mm -hmm. relaxation. Yeah. With the relaxation, mm -hmm. the food or the contents of the abdomen mm -hmm. flows back to the esophagus, mm -hmm. leading to that what we call now the reflux. Mm -hmm. Now that is JAD, gastro gastro mm -hmm. esophageal reflux, mm -hmm. that is JAD. Yeah. Because the food, mm -hmm. instead of staying in the abdomen, mm -hmm. it comes back, mm -hmm. sometimes it chokes the baby, mm -hmm. many things as we'll discuss. Okay, uh, can the food go down? Okay, <laughs> let me not ask that question <laughs> because it's a hard one. So what causes this JAD? Because so many people are asking, what causes it? My child is choking, my child is having all these things. What causes that? Okay, now basically 
what causes jad mm-hmm. is the vomiting or what we call emesis mm-hmm. emesis is vomiting eh? yeah and that it's the the consequences of that vomiting mm-hmm. are the what are the things that lead to this mm-hmm. this jad yeah for example mm-hmm. increased vomiting mm-hmm. will lead to a child having not able to grow well what we call failure to grow failure to thrive mm-hmm. poor weight gain mm-hmm. poor feeding mm-hmm. okay these children most often present mm-hmm. with recurrent infection mm-hmm. upper respiratory chest infections yeah. most commonly mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. it is the aftermath mm-hmm. of the gastric contents mm-hmm. coming into contact with the mm-hmm. epithelium mm-hmm. of the esophagus mm-hmm. when that when that content comes back to the epithelium of the esophagus mm-hmm. it can cause erosion because it's acidic in nature most often mm-hmm. those those are the reasons why it's referred to as jad okay uh, i thought uh, jad cannot affect children because most likely like a baby with 0 to 6 months is not taking maybe food with acid they're only taking milk okay if you can recall mm-hmm. earlier when i said about anatomy mm-hmm. i mentioned a very important part of the esophagus mm-hmm. called the sphincter. Yeah. In adults mm-hmm. they are matured. Yeah. So that sphincter can able to control food yeah. from reflux. Mm-hmm. But in infants mm-hmm. or neonates mm-hmm. it's still immature. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. when the baby has nursed ukimwekelea mm-hmm. chini that sphincter can can control chakula ama maziwa isirudi mm-hmm. kaku flat mm-hmm. so inarudi yo inarudi, inarudi. Yo, okay. so that basically the, uh, the in children there is no acid in children no you cannot say in children there is no acid mm-hmm. because uh, number one in the stomach mm-hmm. we have uh, some something we call h2 receptors mm-hmm. those are the ones that are responsible in producing acid mm-hmm. acid in itself is not bad in the body because it's self in di- it helps in digestion yeah. So you cannot say that they don't have. Oh, they have it. What happens? Mm-hmm. We call it mm-hmm. the reflux. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Gastroesophageal reflux. 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 Okay. So what are the signs and symptoms? When does a mother realize that their children has died? Okay. In children? Yeah. Let me start like this. Mm-hmm. Normally in adults mm-hmm. somebody will tell you he has heartburns, epigastric pain, yeah. is vomiting blood. Mm-hmm. But in children mm-hmm. they present with a lot of irritability. Mm-hmm. Mtoto analia continuous eh? mm-hmm. Mtoto akinyonya anatapika, mm-hmm. hataki kunyonya. Mm-hmm. And then these children most of them they take an arching position. Eh? Kuna the way they because of the irritation in the abdomen. they take that aching position mm-hmm. they will also present with the persistent coughing mm-hmm. because of that reflux sometimes it goes and it goes to the lungs mm-hmm. you know the esophagus and the trachea are mm-hmm. almost together mm-hmm. but when you are feeding mm-hmm. the esophagus opens trachea closes mm-hmm. but in children mm-hmm. they cry sometimes while breastfeeding yeah. so during that process mm-hmm. you find some some can drop to the Mm-hmm. the trachea that mm-hmm. can cause the recurrent cough and yeah. chest infections. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, uh, there has been this myth whereby when a mother has a small child they are coughing they are vomiting they take them somewhere not in the hospital to be removed something just behind there saying it's the cause of the coughing and vomiting what can you tell such parents Okay that's a myth mm-hmm. and it's out of date mm-hmm. in case a child present with that vomiting and coughing yeah. should be taken to a hospital mm-hmm. where proper diagnosis can be done okay nice one i hope you listening and getting the education that the doctor is giving us so when a child is brought to you and now you diagnose that they have jad what are how do you treat jad okay jad mm-hmm. we don't we don't we don't rush to it mm-hmm. we have a several ways of treating jad mm-hmm. one is conservative treatment mm-hmm. whereby if the baby is nursing that's less than 6 months eh, you encourage the mother mm-hmm. to nurse the baby in an angle of 45 degrees so that the head cannot be flat mm-hmm. I, I wish hope we had, you understand I wish we you had a baby to you <laughs> hold an the baby of and show us. at least 45 <laughs> degrees yeah. so that the head cannot be flat eh? yeah. that will prevent the contents of the stomach mm-hmm. from 
coming back. Mm -hmm. And then after breastfeeding the baby, mm -hmm. you encourage them to maintain the baby in the mm -hmm. upright position. Mm -hmm. That will also encourage the baby to, mm -hmm. the contents to remain in the abdomen where they belong. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes if it's severe, mm -hmm. we encourage the mother to nurse the baby mm -hmm. frequently, but on sio ile mpaka mtoto ashide kabisa mm -hmm. unamnyonyesha mm -hmm. unakaachisha kana pumua kidogo and then tena unakanyonyesha mm -hmm. baada kisha mtoto mm -hmm. atashiba mm -hmm. that will help eh, to prevent all the chakula yeah. ikiwa mm -hmm. uko ndani mm -hmm. mtoto mwenye kwa above 6 months ni mtoto ameanza maybe kukula mm -hmm. but if bado anapata the reflux mm -hmm. You can advise the mother now to introduce the solid foods. Eh? Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. solid foods will help mm -hmm. in preventing the comeback because now yeah. something zetu mm itakuwa kwa tumbo. And then you have things like uh, uh, rice cereal mm -hmm. that is added to thicken mm -hmm. the food. Kama kauji, mm -hmm. you add like two to three spoons of yeah. that cereal. Mm -hmm. It helps to thicken the mm -hmm. the food. Yeah. But jad mostly in children, mm -hmm. when they resume the age of one year, most of them will not find them having that reflux mm -hmm. because already the child has taken the upright position. Yeah. Is maybe walking mm -hmm. so all the time mm -hmm. ana chaza. Yeah. So the atap kwa napata the reflux sana sana. Mm -hmm. And then at night you encourage them to when you they are asleep mm -hmm. you raise the mm -hmm. the pillow. Yeah. And then another thing that you can do if it's an older child. Mm -hmm. You encourage them to take small, frequent foods. Eh? Yeah. That will help. Mm. And then you reduce the meat or mm -hmm. protein, mm -hmm. no, fats yeah. in his diet mm -hmm. because obesity has been associated with JAD. Mm -hmm. So you encourage them to reduce the amount of lipids they eat because they slow what we call gastric motility. Mm -hmm. So if you encourage those things, mm -hmm. you'll find that they eventually will grow. Mm -hmm. 85% of children outgrow JAD. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, what if a child is above maybe five years and they're having acid reflux? Could it be caused by stress? Okay, some experts believe that mm -hmm. stress triggers excessive secretion of acid. Yeah. But mostly in children, I don't know a child of five years who has that amount of stress <laughs> to cause the acid. <laughs> Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Listen, so after treating, I'm understanding that basically oh. in, in young children... Uh, I have not finished. Okay. I said there are three ways of treating Jade. Mm -hmm. The one I've told you is conservative treatment, yeah. where you do observation, mm -hmm. you check on the diet mm -hmm. and those things. Yeah. Also you discourage the intake of uh, tomatoes, mm -hmm. chocolate, mm -hmm. Uh, th yes. And those are the things children yeah, want. Yeah, yeah. You, you discourage the intake of those things. Uh -huh. You discourage the intake of citrus, mm -hmm. citrus sodas, mm -hmm. juices, mm -hmm. and uh, things with uh, caffeine mm -hmm. if they are old enough. And of course, alcohol. Mm -hmm. You and tobacco, you and discourage babies, those. And babies do not take tobacco. Babies do not take those things. But those are the things that children want. How can a mother who is watching right now be able to prevent their child from taking chocolate? First, you cannot prevent from taking if you don't know that it causes harm. That's mm -hmm. why we encourage if there's a problem, mm -hmm. you go to an experienced amateur hospital yeah. where you can be guided yeah. accordingly before you start. Mm -hmm removing mm -hmm. or adding to the diet of the child okay yeah okay okay the second method of management of jad mm -hmm. is a uh, pharmacological mm -hmm. now where we introduce medication that is if the conservative method mm -hmm. has not worked before we go to the medical part is there a child that you've treated maybe in your field uh, treated through those other things other than medical with the things you've told me and they got well and they didn't need medication. Yes, mm -hmm. many children. Many We've children. seen many children. Mm -hmm. if, in fact, some will do follow-up before mm -hmm. even they leave the maternity ward yeah. because we see them mm -hmm. when they are born yeah. then they start that vomiting because vomiting starts from the moment mm -hmm. you start feeding yeah. but not all. Not all. So yeah. some f will do follow-up mm -hmm. eventually mm -hmm. The dad goes away. Yeah, until okay. disappears. So we go to the medical one. Now the medical part, mm -hmm. we use uh, several medications. Mm -hmm. We have what we call 
H2 antagonists. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd said about uh, H2 agonists that causes hyperproduction of uh, acid. Mm -hmm. So kun antagonists ya counter that. Mm -hmm. And then we have another one called uh, protein pump inhibitors. Mm -hmm. We also give with the tech for a reasonable duration of time mm -hmm. until it mm -hmm. helps. Yeah. Now, kuna a certain percentage, although a small percentage, mm -hmm. that do not respond to the mm -hmm. medical part of it. Yes. Others will require to be have a energy tube that takes the contents up to the abdomen. Mm -hmm. That will be. Those are those serious cases. Eh? Serious cases. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the other modality now is surgery. Mm -hmm. Surgery is those serious cases mm -hmm. that are. Uh, that lead to life threatening like a choking child mm -hmm. or a child who has a, a neurological dysfunction let's yeah. say cerebral palsy a mad down syndrome yeah those um, those ones when they get the judge sometimes it tend to be more severe than mm -hmm. the other population mm -hmm. yeah so that's how uh, judge is treated actually in three ways yes and uh, on the treatment part uh, how long does the treatment take maybe two weeks, one month, three months? Treatment ranges with individuals and mm -hmm. severity. Mm -hmm. There is a person who will say that in a day, mtoto wake anatapika maratano, baka inatoka na mapua. So that one, you know, the duration will be longer. Yeah. Na kuna ula nasema it opens once. Mm -hmm. So you encourage them, if it's medication, mm -hmm. they give when they see that there's something mm -hmm. come here. Uh, when they see the problem coming yes. up. Okay, next one. Uh, so uh, after you've treated the child, of course there's this part people say that prevention is always better than cure. And uh, I'm sure you've seen so many children with this problem. Uh, medically, how do you prevent children from getting judged, especially children? <laughs> That's a good question. Mm -hmm. And again, mm. you cannot prevent judge from happening in children because okay. When you are born, mm -hmm. there's that part that is, that the one I tried to explain yeah. about the sphincter that is not, mm -hmm. is not uh, mature already. Mm -hmm. So the food contents will always come back until the child is, mm -hmm. is mature. Mm -hmm. Or if it's uh, very severe, you take the, the other management options. Mm -hmm. But normally, 90% of young children mm -hmm. always have that reflux, mm -hmm. but it's something that as they continue growing, 85% mm -hmm. when they are at one year of age, mm -hmm. they don't have the reflux anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Is it hereditary? <laughs> Maybe the mother or the father has that and then they just, <laughs> they inherit. <laughs> okay. They inherit. Uh, I'm not sure about that one, mm -hmm. but some people tend to have that familial issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. There's someone asking, why is that common in babies under two years? And I think you've explained it very well. Mm -hmm. And uh, someone else is asking, what foods causes acid reflux? What foods causes acid reflux? Mm -hmm. Okay. For infants when you're on a that one is uncontrollable because it's related to the 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 mature reflux, yep. the esophageal sphincter. Mm -hmm. When you start feeding your child and you notice the regurgitation mm -hmm. becomes more. Yeah. There are things like tomatoes; mm -hmm. those are are known. Mm -hmm. And then we have, uh, like I've said, the cidras mm -hmm. drinks, mm -hmm. some fruit juices. Mm -hmm. And then the chocolate and those are some cereals, in yeah. fact. Mm -hmm. There are some that they are associated with the increased hyperacidity. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We say that uh, decrease or limit, minimize the fat mm -hmm. in your child's diet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then there's someone else. At what age is a child? at risk of getting dead. I think this is what you've explained very well. And I'm sure people are asking questions, maybe out of the experience they've had with their children. Uh, I'm sure so many people are watching and uh, there is always something that you've noticed while you're treating children. What is this important thing that you wish mothers are doing 
for their children to prevent this problem? All they should do. Uh, number one, mm -hmm. nursing mothers, yeah. especially the new ones, mm -hmm. uh, just don't be scared. Kiona mtoto anatoa maziwa, kuna ile ya kutoa na kuna ile inatoka zaidi yadi na mapua. Just go to hospital, mm -hmm. we explain. Mm -hmm. You will be, if there's something you need to know, you will be told yeah. and you will be advised accordingly. Mm -hmm. Uh, those others above six months, uh -huh. as I said, you just introduce food mm -hmm. and then most of them it resolves within mm -hmm. one year. Mm -hmm. The older children mm -hmm. who are bad, mm -hmm. check on their weight, mm -hmm. decrease on the food that cause hyperacidity. Yeah. Uh, Elevate their bed yeah. for the head when they are asleep, mm -hmm. when they are sleeping. Yeah. Uh, what else have I left? I think you said almost everything. Uh, so those are the things that a parent should do. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure their parent, they are listening, and they, their children will get well. So uh, as we are winding up, Dr. Um, here at Tendry, we have pediatric services for 24 hours, yeah. including here at Doctors Plaza, mm -hmm. and especially now when there is El Nino. Uh, what would you advise parents because of other diseases that affects children? Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. What I'll say is that uh, we are all God's children. Yeah. So number one, parents, make sure you know where your child is. Mm -hmm. Make sure that... Uh, they eat a well-balanced diet. Mm -hmm. Hygiene is yeah. paramount yeah. to prevent these waterborne diseases. Yeah. And make sure they get enough exercises mm -hmm. now that they are at home. Yeah. Don't, don't make them watch TV too much. It's <laughs> not good. A whole day and they have yeah. <laughs> Let them go out and play yeah. with other kids. It mm -hmm. helps even in a social life. Mm -hmm. Yeah and mental well-being. Mental health. Do, like I asked, I have to ask again, do children get stress? <laughs> <laughs> do, yes, do, do children you, can get stress. Is, is a, a, a children can get stress. Whereby a parent has brought a child, my child is sick, and uh, actually you diagnose, this is stress that is disturbing this child, he is not even sick. Yeah, a child can get stress. Mm -hmm. If you as a parent, mm -hmm. you are constantly abusing the child mm -hmm. or beating the child, mm -hmm. shouting, mm -hmm. calling names, mm -hmm. the, all those things can give a child st mm -hmm. stress too. How does a child that has stress look like? <laughs> <laughs> Menda sana. <laughs> <laughs> also some of the symptoms that a child has stress, but I think that is a topic for another day. We yeah, prepare okay. for that mm -hmm. for children maybe who have mental problems so that their parents can take care of them, especially now when schools are closed. So thank you so much, Dr. Thank you for coming through to the show. I know you have a busy schedule, but you chose to educate people and parents uh, today about JAD or the gastroesophageal <laughs> and up, reflux, up, disease. reflux disease. That is JAD. That's a hard one. Uh, but we have managed. Uh, thank you, Dr. Ari, for coming through for the show. Uh, next time, we'll talk about mental health in children, by the way. It's very important. I know parents do not, do not know whether it's important, but it's very, very important. Because we find that a child is like, when they have their mother, they don't talk. When they go out there, they are talking. So, do you see any stress? You are a strict one. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much viewers for watching this show. It has been an interesting one with our RCO Pediatrics, William Rogito. Thank you so much for watching. You can find him at Doctors Plaza in all our branches, including Majimbo, uh, Tendri Ena, and Tendri Doctors Plaza. You can find a pediatric for 24 hours. And when you come here, you to talk at Ashugulikwa Vizur. So you can continue with the conversation. You can talk to us on 0723. Uh, 386706 or you can talk to us on 0718918189 you can call those numbers for 24 hours in case you need any assistance thank you so much for watching we are coming back next week until then